uh, they see God in DNA, they see God in nature, and so, um, so I don't know if they're completely separating it, but what's your explanation of, of such people? Well, first of all, there's two, I have a two-part explanation for that. The first is, as you rightly say, people want empirical confirmation for their beliefs. Regard, I mean, they, they are not completely able to compartmentalize mm -hmm. the things based on faith and things based on empiricism. So that's why, for example, there's still exposition, expeditions to Mount Ararat looking for Noah's Ark. That's why <laughs> religious scholars are so desperate to show that Jesus really existed as a person, even though the evidence is as thin as this piece of paper <laughs> for that. It's, it's because they really, and that's why National Geographic every month has an article about, well, Tracing the footsteps of Jesus in Jerusalem. This could be Jesus's tomb, or this could be the house of Jesus, because they really want that there. It's there. It's impossible for them to absolutely separate what their faith tells them from what they want to be true. But second of all, this is a power of well. There's two other explanations: indoctrination, which is very powerful. You're taught a lot of your religious beliefs when you're a kid, and it's hard to get out of that especially in view of the evolutionary hypothesis. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries, advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash S-J-M-E.